Mm-hmm. I am I am more concerned about the young the, the young man who is back from the states background now. Nana mm-hmm. Konijo, I am telling you, Ope Obi the attorney hot Oh yeah, sure. He is back in town. What yeah. what what if? Yes, Ope, that is well, it. Their problem. Yeah, no me ask that is he. Yeah, me sumi ni jimu bi. Oh, me someone they know you. Like this is an old man. No, no, no. The thing she is, she stated. Uh, the thing is, before she even went through. Uh, like the process of getting married, mm. you would experience all these things definitely along the line whilst you're going. Unless, so unless, she, if, unless, like, if she, you guys, can't let me see, take you back to she said she feels indebted. indebted. Okay, then okay. she should stay in debt. Then she should stay. Okay, and so, then, so why not? Because I'm telling you, once this young man lays his hands on you, you might say today is the last time, and it will continue. Tomorrow will be the last time. Yes. Yesterday was the last time. Next week is supposed to be the last time before you realize it. You are pushing it, pushing it. Before I even know, oh, the Kualan air shark or crown. It's a very dangerous game. Loving and being loved right back is the greatest thing of all time. That's the greatest feeling ever an individual can have. This is Love City. My name is Anal Kunidu. And hey, hi to you watching me. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts and comments as and when we post. Like the feedback, guys, you are the real MVPs. I'm taking a breather. When I come back, I introduce to you my panel. I read and, you know, we get talking. Do not go anywhere. Welcome back. This is Love City. All you need is love. You know, as we culminate the month of March, I want you to reflect on the things you said you were going to do when we started with the month. Have you been able to achieve whatever goal you set for this particular month? I'm going to ask, okay, I actually have two gentlemen in the studios, and I'm going to ask them if they've been able to fulfill whatever endeavor they, they set for the month. Grandmaster. Cornelio. Hi, darling. Hey there, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? I'm blessed. I'm blessed, I can see. All loved up. Yes, yes. We have a big deal himself in the studio today with us. Yeah, today I'm here. You are here. Yeah. Salam alaikum. Go alaikum salam. Ah, okay. <laughs> so, guys, tell me, have you been able to achieve whatever endeavor you set for the month? Well, slow and steady always wins the race. So, I mean, mm. my miracle could happen today, it could happen tomorrow. Right. So, you know, we, are, we are what? We are almost at the end of the month. Right. Um, I still have hope for the future. Mm. I, I see myself doing beautiful things this year. Like mm-hmm. I've always told everybody, I'll do bigger and better things this year. Okay. I'm not really depending on a month or a particular day. Okay. I'm, I'm not limiting my miracle. Okay. Yes, so <laughs> I believe. Okay. The, the sun will shine. Yeah, every the, day is a the blessing. Sun, the yeah. sun shall soon shine. Yeah, yeah. shine, 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 shine. <laughs> <laughs> Big deal. Yeah, yeah. How about you? Have you have you been able to like? Oh yeah. As we are culminating. Oh yeah. This month, month is a very good month for mm. me. So. Hey, sir. Yeah. Sikaba, mm. my No, I'm, I'm, uh, We are, we are in the month of Ramadan, so mm. yeah, it's a pleasant month for me. So. Okay. Yeah. So I'm enjoying it. Uh, well, how do they say that? Uh, Mubarak or what? Which one is the Mubarak? It's when you like Eid Mubarak or mm. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, is yeah. when the Eid commences. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So, guys, we have a story. This story, I'm not going to say anything about it. I'm just going to read it. And you give me your thoughts on it. Okay. It says, My man and I were dating for five years. Everything was going on well with us until one scorching afternoon. He came to my end to tell me he had gotten an opportunity to travel to the U.S. to further his education. I was happy and sad at the same time because I knew the long distance would take its toll on our relationship, and yes, it did. He went silent for a while, and we began losing conversations. Fast forward, I met this older man who was really good to me and helped me through my university education. I felt indebted to him 
one way or the other and accepted his uh, proposal after university. Five years on, we are blessed with two kids and I hold a comfortable position in a bank. One faithful afternoon, a fine gentleman was ushered into my office by my secretary and Nana, it was my ex. After whatever interactions we had in my office that day, he has been a shareholder of my thoughts. I know this may sound selfish, but I want to have him as a side guy because I have found out I still have feelings for him. Nana, I am confused. Please share this with your panel on what I should do. She is caught in a dilemma. I don't, this dilemma, I don't know whether it's, it's a fatal dilemma or a sensible one. I don't know. But, Grant. Nana, what do you do? You chuckled at a point. Mm -hmm. Before I proceed and say anything, let's bow down our head and pray for this young lady. Okay, let's pray. Dear Father above, I pray for this young one. She is not confused. She has only been taken over by the demonic spirit of adultery. Mm. Please have mercy on her. Let her acknowledge the home she has. Let her remember that two kids are a blessing. Let her remember her vows before she commits adultery. Father, touch her heart. And let her remember that family comes first. Amen. Ami, ami, ami. You, Grant. this, this, this young lady is confused. Mm. Not only confused. I think her vessel has been taken over. Really? Probably she she saw the numbers the guy brought into the bank. Mm. Contentment is one of the things that propels us to a greater life. Right. No matter where you find yourself, you should be content. Is she just finding out today that she's dating an older man? Did she have to state the fact that the man is old? But the man is old, so the man is old. So you just remembered after five years that this man is old. Because, oh, the, younger man, because the younger man walked into your office. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. There are a whole lot of prayers I could have said for this young one. But then I pray that whatever it is that is tickling her down there should be closed. Hey. Focus on your marriage, young mm. lady. And you'll be an enyan is out. Right. This young man went abroad and went silent. For whatever reason, he went silent. Like you stated, you have no idea. Concentrate on this marriage. Whether he's 62, whether he's 72, whether he's 82, that is what you got. You don't know what this bugger came in with. Okay. Okay. Focus on the marriage. Right. Be grateful. This is a gift. Marriage is a long journey. Mm. Marriage is not something you play with. I have always said this on this program that before you jump into any other relationship, make sure that you have completely healed. Obviously, this lady in question is not healed from her past relationship. You won't be jumping oh, here and there after seeing your ex. I mean, oh, please. I, I just feel bad for this old man, okay. like she stated. Now, today, she has remembered the man is old. All of a sudden, after two kids, mm. after five years... Mm. This story has ungratefulness written all over it. Right. Come on, sir, I want to say something. Do, please, uh, do okay. say, my brother. Um, the thing is, um, what is if, what if after the guy came back from the States, he wasn't successful, she meets him by the roadside, and he's looking all wretched. Thank you, my this. brother. Would she, Thank you, my would brother. she have uh, that feeling she says she's having hmm. for him now that she wants to go and cross the line and then commit adultery? Would she still have those kind of feelings that she says she's having right now, that she can't think of anything? Except him. Okay. Yeah, I could think it, it's adultery. Okay. So yeah. could it be that this young lady feels she has lost out on her youthful days? Things young couples will do. Mind you, it could be that this old man she's saying she's now realizing she's an old man could just go to the office, come back home, I'm tired. Is that food to eat? I've eaten. My name is off to bed the next morning same thing like the same routine probably she she feels she 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 has a lot of youthful things she could do no she has been able with, to endure all those things 
during that time until the guy comes back from the state and she's realizing all this. Oh, have you? Do you know like Momo? You. Oh, the thing is, no, it's, see, it's, it's big deal. Uh, there, 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 there is a saying that the way you go lay your bed, na so you go lie on top. Mm. You lay the same bed with this old man. Right. You see, I am even offended that she she made mention that the man is an older man. Mm -hmm. Keyword there is the older, older man. man. You understand? For all you know, this young man could also be married abroad. Yeah. Okay. This young man could also have family abroad. Okay. What about her? Obepe will be the attorney hot so. So we. Oh yeah, it happens all the time. It these, happens. These burgers come to town but, and they come and impregnate our younger ones and leave back to the okay, state so, to their family. Okay, so she, at a point in time, I think she wanted to spare us the long writing, long reading. Okay. So probably they could they could have spoken about things they used to do before. Yeah. Okay. Trying think, to reminisce on that, the yeah, things. That trying all to those yes, memories, reminiscing yeah. on things they used to do. It could even be sexual positions and all of yeah, that. Yeah, it's, it's true. Things so to true. that's tickle her fantasy. Yeah. And this old man do not do all of these things. I think it's yeah. I think it's you fantasy, get it. Those, and those fantasies. I've seen so, somebody so who then, I so do then, this with. So then it's safe to say it's nonsensical youthful exuberance. Yes. Mm. Yes, because I, I mean, at the end of the day, you knew what you were going up for. All right. You knew what you were up against. Okay. It's not like you. Because she stated that this old man like helped her through her university yes. education. So, so she went through all those. You knew this. Yes. Mm. If it was one minute, man, you knew. Mm. If it was two minutes, you knew. If he, if he can't stand the doggy style, you knew. He mm. couldn't do the missionary. You all you also knew about that. Right. So you could have just been truthful and very open to him and told him, say, I appreciate you. Okay. You understand. Mm. You you've been an angel in my life. Right. At a point where I needed a shoulder to cry on, you mm -hmm. were there. You were there. But then I don't think marriage is the way for it. I think everybody in their right senses would fall for this, mm -hmm. would understand this. But then you don't lead somebody on, you take them to the altar, mm -hmm. and now because a younger man is back or your younger man is back into your life, mm -hmm. you think say Yem Pakia to baby. No, right. it doesn't work like that. Right. Whatever you sow, you shall reap. Mm -hmm. I am I am more concerned about the young the, the young man who is back from the states background now. Mm -hmm. Nana Koniju, I am telling you, Ope Obi the attorney hot so. Oh yeah, sure. He is back in town. What yeah. what what if? Yes, oh, that is well, the probability. She will have to tell us this. Probably, like I mentioned earlier, that chatting conversations went on. Oh, but I came I came back for you, and you're married. After five years. After five years, that's the time <laughs> the scholarship could allow okay. me to stay here yeah, okay, in the that's country. Too, yes. and, you stay. and I am back. <laughs> I tried contacting you to no avail. I'm sorry, sweetheart. God being so good, we've met here. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I have, I'm I have gladly moved yeah, on. I'm married she hasn't you. moved on. With this writing, this write-up, it doesn't show she has moved on. She, has. And she, she wants to. See, I want to have her, him as a side guy. No. It's, this then, is like a premeditated... That's that's what I'm saying, sir. This girl needs prayers. <laughs> she needs therapy. A side guy. You understand? Or probably the attorney hot. So just like, like the guy too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are two promiscuous yeah, people who have met. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. You get it. I, I'm telling you, these people, when they meet, it will just be vibes and sex. And that's it. They won't plan anything for themselves. Okay. It will just be vibes and sex. Okay. Vibes and sex. Okay. Meanwhile, you have someone who, is, who has gone the extra mile. I mean, how many people are willing somebody, to do this? Yeah, somebody you can rely on. Somebody you can rely on. How many people are willing to do this? I oh, mean, but I am, no, these old men, they do. They do it, but I, I'm just sad that this, this old man would just die out of heart attack if, if she, he gets wind of this. I mean, it's just sad. Two kids. I just want, I don't want us to, I don't know, probably because I'm the host here. I want to step into the shoes of this young woman. Okay. Hit me up. Let me listen to you. And think, okay. You, you feel maybe this we are man, being a bit biased. Yes, you okay. are, actually. This man goes to work, comes back home, Eats and sleep. <laughs> There's nothing interesting to do with him. He do not avail himself to do all the youthful things I feel at my age I can do with my husband. And this is a young, an ex who comes in. I do all of these things with him and he's willing to take me out on dates. He's willing to, 
he's there to listen to me we chat we like funny stuff things we, like we get naughty i'm not saying d- a, a decent naughtiness actually okay we talk about things every normal human being would at my age do okay. i don't get to do all okay. of these things with this man eh so i'm trying to like incorporate this into the i want to make him my, my side, side guy okay now let's take it from this angle then why not be very open to your husband okay from the onset no no not even want to end the marriage but be open to him Akwakra, and i eja i'm a friend of dark right that's how they call it Akwakra, eja and our dada yeah no my star is he yeah miss me need you be only someone they know you like this is an old man no, no, no. The thing she is, uh, stated. The thing is, before she even went through, the, like, the process of getting married, mm. you would experience all these things definitely along the line whilst you're going. Unless, so unless, she, if, unless, like, if she, you can Let me see, take you back to. She said she feels indebted. indebted. Okay. Then okay. she should stay. In debt. Then she should stay. Okay. And so, then, so why not? Why not sit the man down and let him understand that you don't, you no longer feel committed to this marriage, mm. but you would want out. Really. Respectively. After two kids, you see, that's my point. No, after two kids, you yes. want to you yes. want to walk out. You want but to walk out because you, still want you to feel the, the, the love of your life yes. is back. I yes. feel she's she's trying to be on a safe road here. That is not. So safe. she's going to keep the old man uh-huh. and make the. But you can't eat your cake and have it. Uh-huh. People do that. You can't. You, do we need Mark? No, it can't happen. It does. So you want to use it does. you want to use it them. Just create so this is it. You want to you. you you want to use your your younger man for sexual purposes and you build and a you home. For, let's you, not let's just not minute it to sexual purposes. No, no, let's not minute it to sexual purposes. No, no, let's not minute it to sexual purposes. Let them broaden it. On God, I'm telling you. Let them broaden it. On God, I'm telling you. Youthful things. Okay. Youthful stuff. Let's okay. do, let's say that. What, not what do they do? What do they do? It's sex. Is it just sex? They yes. Have? Late late night movies. Um, 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 it's just sex. That is. It's not. I don't believe so. It is. I'm I'm you, you are married for crying out loud. I am telling you, it is just sex. This is that your is husband, you your lifelong partner. This is someone God has ordained into your life. You young lady, you don't fear God. Young lady, you don't read your Bible. Young lady, are you a Christian or a Muslim? Do you know your left and right? Do you read your Quran? Do you read your Bible? Don't you fear you are going to break your home? Have you thought about the future of your children? Are you not afraid of what is going to happen? Do you know what bro- broken home will do to these children? Because of your sexual fantasies, your youthful exuberance, it's, it's, you it's want sex. to hold hands, that you is want so. late night calls, you want missionary, you want doggy, because the old man cannot afford these positions, you want to walk away? Oh, please, spare her She that. doesn't want to walk away, she wants to keep the... Her so this is being greedy. Um, her, really? This is selfishness. Okay. I, I know I'm, I'm very certain a lot of people are going to come at me and after me. Do you men not marry to and have side chicks? I know. I know they're going to come after me and on me and all, all of the on me. <laughs> after, behind, side, and front and all of that. Do you know men not marry and have side chicks? Not what you do. Do you know a blessing if you see one? Mm. And you have been blessed from the way the young lady was talking. I was touched. She has been blessed with two kids. Yeah. Minimum Ke- perform. Your children are a blessing. having a very good so. work. Minimum right. perform. Move through mountain every day for just a kid. Right. People are climbing mountain. People are paying uh, uh, huge sums of money just for one. Charlie, it's not easy. You have an old man who is dedicated to you. I mean, forget about it. If he can't ride you, ride him. Mm. Okay. I have two messages here. Do read them for me, please. So, Constance says... Okay, so this Constance actually is a colleague. Hi, Constance. She's a pastor as well. She says, Nana, this woman is demonic. God bless you, Madam Madam. She Madam needs Osofo. prayers. <laughs> I prayed for her. And I feel she should seek counseling because that will help her. Bam! Okay. <laughs> Sahama says, so what at all is wrong with women of these days? Preach. What in the world are you looking for? If you want to do youthful things with your husband, talk to him. That is all. Put the what? Put the youngness in him. Uh, if he die, he Make dies. him feel yeah. young. Yes. And stop this. Oh, okay, I can't. No, that mm-hmm. word I can't. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Sahama. 
If he dies, he I dies. Let me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me just say something. I, I watched a couple of uh, this thing, this couple scored this. Yeah. The guy had to, like, the guy is an older man. Mm. And then he's married to a younger girl. Mm. He's on medication so he could, like, his life could be prolonged. Yeah. Yeah. But he dropped the medication just to satisfy his woman. Yes, if I die, I die. And, and during those process, she still goes out and cheats. <laughs> If I die, I die. Yeah. Even have you know, the medication. I was trying to please he my wife. the medication just to please his wife. What at all so would happen to this old man? Heart yes. attack. Could it? Could it not? Let's take it from this angle also. I want us to like broaden it. I get yes, your point. Eat this. Let's really eat this. The intertwos of all of it. Okay. Let's just take it to a different angle. Probably, she has mentioned this to her husband before. Okay. And her husband didn't heed into whatever she said. Probably because oh, it's an old style, old school. Yes. Yeah. No. Why? What is this? Are, why women not supposed to birth? Is that not it? You, you are you, my name. Oh, and yeah, no, no, no. She okay. gets it. Okay. I'm not saying that is what she is trying to say, but I'm I'm wanting us to like really look into ascertain into this story properly. That makes sense, though. Because it could be that probably I was talking to my husband about this. He's not doing anything about it. He goes to work, he comes back home, eat and sleep. And I am a woman, I have feelings. It's you know true. how it, true, this the woman women naturally I think their hormones are higher than men. Okay, Nanako, let's take this from this perspective. If if you have spoken to your husband about all these things and you feel the need to have a side nigger, mm. you feel the need to have a side guy. Right. Why your ex? Like the lady, the lady pastor was saying. Yeah, Pastor Constance. It's a, it's a bit demonic. Mm. I have I have made mention of it before I even began. Yeah, okay, even so, when we commenced, you prayed yeah, for her. So this is what I think she should do. Take your man to the church. Okay. Tell your pastor. This is what your vessel because this is not spiritual. This is the vessel deceiving you. Okay. This is what your vessel is telling you to do. Okay. You have spoken to your man. Take, take the man to the same church you read your vows. Mm. I think that there's a bit of like sacredness about that place to you, you to, to the couple. Okay. Take your man to the church. Let the pastor talk to him. Let the pastor let him understand what you are going through. Okay. Because he might be satisfied. Maybe he feels two minutes, three minutes is good enough for him. He might be old school. Mm. But remember your sacred vows of marriage. Let him meet you up there. Let the man of God help you bring him up there. Okay. If not the man of God, you can take him to a counselor. Okay. Let him be educated on, on what he's doing and the damage it can bring to your home. Okay. Because I'm telling you, once this young man lays his hands on you, you might say today is the last time. And it will continue. Tomorrow will be the last time. It will continue. Yesterday was the last time. Next week is supposed to be the last time. Before you realize, you are pushing it. Pushing it before I don't know. It's a very dangerous game. The right. young man could be nice. Maybe he is back in town. He can hold conversations for longer. He knows you better than this old man. Mm -hmm. He might say a lot of compliments that would make your your. I mean, I get it. You, mm. this kind of vibe will be Tickle there. Tell her fantasies and all of that. And and some of the things he would tell, he would do to you. Would even get you all. I mean, shaky wherever you find yourself. All things they've done before. You get it. But this old man, no matter how old school, I don't know and why I'm even talking for this old man. Usually I'm on the side of the younger ones. But then I, I feel, I also feel indebted to this old man. Hey! You get it. Because listen, listen, yeah, listen, listen, listening to her story, she was left in the middle of the road. Mm. This old man picked you Someone up. Someone picked her up. To whom much is given, much is expected. Mm. You understand? Gratitude is always a must. It's a must, yeah. So, young lady, I beg of you, don't throw this away. If your man is not good at holding conversations, talk to him. Let him understand why him not conversation with, uh, him not con talking to you talking is to breaking you, you apart. Okay. If he doesn't meet you up there sexually, I mean, there are lots of aphrodisiacs on the market. You can't, you can't prescribe to him, but then talk to your doctor. Let okay. some proper aphrodisiacs be prescribed to him. Mm -hmm. There are some that will even prolong his life and give him some, some kind of longevity and all that. Talk to your doctor. I mean, you want to be satisfied. 
if you were my sister, I would want you to be satisfied too. Okay. You get it. Let's, but, uh, let's just, I don't want us to situate it on sexual satisfactions only. I think it's all about sex. I believe, I don't believe I believe not. That's it. I have a strong feeling 60%. I don't, I don't think it's all no, it's not, it's not situated on it's sexual satisfaction. It's 80% on sexual. Mind you, like she said, she feels indebted to the man because he took her through school. So why so not to end repay, the marriage? So to, repay, so to repay him back, he proposes, let me accept and leave with him. Okay. I'm certain at that time, now, and his ex, or her ex, I beg your pardon, came into town, I bet you she would have never gotten married to the man. Okay, that makes so, sense. So you see, so it, as, as, as people, so, that say, I'm speaking for a sister. I'm no, not speaking for no, a sister. Kone, why not end I'm the marriage? I'm just trying then? to. Why not end the marriage then? After two kids. So you see, after two kids, this it's thing shouldn't even matter yes. anymore. Those are the blessings. You see, that is my point. I okay, let's shift it away from this. The whole sexual scenario. Mm. You think your your needs and wants triumph over taking care of your kids? These are sacrifices. Yes. This is what you have to sacrifice. Mm. You have to sacrifice your libido for your kids to do it. You have to sacrifice your happiness for your kids to do it. Okay. You have to sacrifice your well-being for your kids to do it. Somebody will say, it's my life. I have to, no, 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 no. I mean, those kids are innocent. They didn't ask for any of this. All right. You get it. I am, I am worried about your home being broken. Because I'm telling you, sister... If this young man touches you, there's no way you are going back to this old man. Because probably he's coming back from town. He's coming back from town with a whole different vibe. Mm. In a wheelchair. Mm. And you might never want to go back to this old man. Mm. Be it on a, on a regular conversation level, you guys on a date. He, he might take you to places this old man hasn't even thought of going before in his life. That's a thing. That's you see, well. spontaneous shopping sprees. Right. The, the travel and the vacations. And then you might you will also start turning into a liar. Mm. Grandma star. You might have to lie. Blessings Let's comes okay. in a different form. Okay. If he doesn't take you out, he doesn't take you on a shopping spring, he doesn't buy you these things. At least he has done something for you. He has done he has been able to like let you feel like, yeah, now you are a woman. You've been giving uh, you've given birth to two kids. Sorry. You work. How how is he making her feel now she's a woman? If you've given birth to two children, okay. doesn't, doesn't it make you so a woman? I think that's motherhood, basically. Yes. If you have a good job. It means we we the ones that you've not birthed yet. No. You're not women or no, what? No, 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 no. What, what are you talking to, about? What I'm trying to say is every, uh-huh. woman, every woman be a, like, before you be able to crown yourself as a woman. We need, to, you have, we need yes. to give birth. Oh, okay. Yes. When you have... Yes, sisters. <laughs> you've heard. <laughs> you've heard. Yes. So if she's able to, like... She doesn't want to look at all these blessings around her. Mm. And she wants to just throw it away for a fantasy. That is good. She should you continue. See, <laughs> yeah, she's, yeah. I like your fantasy. <laughs> yeah, you see, that's, that's <laughs> it. She's limited the blessing. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. I, like, I like the submission on that. <laughs> yes, Guys, let me, take, let me take your submissions on this. I, 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 I personally feel that... Before that, Grant... Do not situate... Do not single it <laughs> to sexual <laughs> fantasies. Please. Thank you. You can go on. <laughs> Young lady, kids are blessings. Before the devil uses you to cook okra stew, remember that whatever move you make now would affect the kids. Mm. Right. I, I'd always tell the people this. I come from a home like that. Okay. One weekend I'm with my mom, the other weekend I'm with my dad. Okay. Next month I'm in a different school, mm. another week I'm in a different school. Mm. I never enjoyed it at all. Mm. I wouldn't want that for anybody else. Mm. Regardless of how bad your home is, when you feel down, when you feel like you have nothing to hold on to, remember your marriage vows. Okay. When you feel like this is it for you, you've had enough. The man is not abusive. You never mentioned anything of that sort. The man is not a cheat. He's not a flirt. We never had any of these things in your submissions. Maybe if, she's if, not caught. She's, she's here to 
Lord have mercy. No, no, no. Lord have mercy. What are you doing? She's yet to. What are you doing? She's yet to. No, no. Like, I mean, I mean, I get it. I get I, it. I'm, I'm probably, I'm, I'm trying to act. To I'm trying to act the no. bubble here. So no. let's go no, on. No, no, no. <laughs> it's, it's understandable, but you see, my worries. Don't throw this thing away. Okay. Whatever this young man from the states is offering, it's not worth it. Okay. And it's not what? a permanent thing. You understand? Okay. Because a, a side guy is a temporary job. Right. Yeah. Up until you see, that's the thing. You, you. I don't want to because you said I shouldn't limit it to sex. Yes. Let yes, me let yes. me just centralize it. Let me let me just let me just bring it into plain English. Mm. After you are done jumping up and round town with him, you might want to experience something. It's it's like addiction. Okay. You see. Okay. You never mention if this young man is back to stay. Mm. That's that's a problem for me too. Okay. If this young man is back in town to stay, that's a whole different problem on its own. Okay. If it's just vacation, he's coming back to have fun and go back. Mm -hmm. That one to be another problem. It's different. Okay. So sister, maybe I didn't power chore. Sister, mad the kuku now. Olenya sema mad the kuku now. Sister, I dey beg you. Sister, mink pa bofai. Okay. Anya mi ipo pe chonu noni ngedi o. I think uh, 10 seconds. Grant has taken all your. <laughs> why are you giving me 10 seconds? Okay, go on. My, my director keeps. Your time is up. Your time is up. The director should give me some more. Shout out to Marge. I want to say something. I, to say something. <laughs> okay. I think it's, um, the woman is like, she's losing focus. Mm -hmm. She's losing focus in, with her life and the life she wants for her kids. Because if. You would want to throw all these things. This it's a beautiful thing. You have a good job. You have a husband who takes care of you. Plenty of people don't have it like that, and they still stay in the marriage. You know how many like like complicated marriages people mm. like mm. they just oma kata oma no no because they have kids. They have some like if I don't love my man like the love I have for him is not mm. there anymore. At least he has given me beautiful children. Mm. I have a good job, I can take care of myself. Mm. Why not transfer the love, the fantasy, all those things? Just like Gamaster said, why not transfer all those things to, to your kids right. and then make them a better people? I think she's losing focus. She just wants to destroy the beautiful okay. thing she has going on for her. So, okay. Yeah. Just because of thank <coughs> you, guys. <laughs> it's just thank sex. You, Grandma, I, thank you so all. much. Thank you, Big Deal, for thank coming you, into yeah, the studio welcome. today yeah. and making it big as a deal. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you have heard from my amazing gentlemen. I'm the only lady here. I say all the time, even if there are three men, they can't succumb me. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. Dear writer, wherever you are, I hope you make a good decision because you've heard whatever Gran has to say on this. You've heard whatever Big Deal has to say on this. It looks as if they are, they are frowning on whatever decision you are wanting to make. Adultery, MP. Adultery. <laughs> yeah. It's not a good thing to do. You're married. Stay focused. Take care of your children. And every other thing will fall in line for you. My name is Nakunidu Nrajiman. Your fine wine every time, every day, every minute, every second, every hour. Thank you so much again. You guys are the real MVPs. I want to specially say thank you to our subscribers. Those who watch the VAR program to the current affair to entertainment with Babo, Kobe, and the rest. And Grandmaster. Thank you guys so much. You guys hold us down. And please share to others to see, okay? And at the end of it all, we will drink the wine together. Until I come your way again, be good, drink water, and mind your business. Bye-bye. Studios 2 TV. The truth is here in your eyes.